Welcome and get a grip. This is for um, you that need some help in this way. We're going to talk about how to hold the stick. Um, you know, anybody could get a pair of drumsticks and just grab onto it and start hitting, and you're going to get a sound. But for the long term, you want to build some good technique to get the um, the physics of it working for you. So the first thing to know, I, th I think that's helpful to know, is that um, every time you hit the drum, you got five things going on: arm all the way from my shoulder down, wrist in this match grip, we call it. Um, we, we use this bye-bye motion, so my wrist is working this way. My fingers are going to be controlling the stick. And the last two are not body parts. Gravity, as I go down, <laughs> gravity pulls it down. I, sometimes I'm, you know, I might add some energy into that if I want to get really loud, but gravity is it's our friend. I relax, <laughs> the stick goes down. Um, additionally, um, bounce. If I hang onto the stick tightly, I'm going to get a really choked sound, and I'm not going to get any bounce from the stick. Um, if I have develop a good stick grip that's loose, when I hit that drum, I'm going to get good tone, and I'm going to get the bounce that the stick wants to give me. And that's sometimes called a rebound. Um, but whatever name it is, you want it because you want to be able to use it. Um, so how do we get that? Um, what we want to do is create a fulcrum in our, um, in our grip. Um, and th for those of you who slept through science class, the fulcrum is where the stick pivots back and forth. It's like the middle of a seesaw. And so first thing we got to do is find out where that is going to be on the stick. Um, you don't want too much weight out front because the stick will die down into the head. And if you have too much weight in the back, the stick doesn't want to even go towards the head. So um, what we want to do is find the center of gravity. So if I bounce my stick... That stick's balanced my hand. There's the center of the gravity. That's not going to work for me either to, because the stick's just going to kind of sit wherever it, 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 uh, it happens to be at the moment. It's just going to stay there because it's balanced, the center of gravity. That's what that means. Um, I want to do is add a little more weight to the front of the stick so it wants to head towards the drum, but not too much to keep it at the drum. So I'm going to back up about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch, depending on your stick. This can be a little different by the, by the size of your stick and the shoulder of the stick, the different weight of the stick, the tip, and all that's going to change it. So you're going to have to find it on your stick. Um, so that's where it's going to be on the stick. And where it's going to be in your hand is actually movable, but it usually moves between one of these two fingers, first two fingers, and a thumb. So the first thing you want to do is take those two fingers and your thumb and pick that stick up at that fulcrum point of the stick. Um, what, I, when I, what I want to end up with is my, my thumb aimed straight down the stick, and the stick on the first two pads or in the first knuckles of these first two fingers. And um, that creates my fulcrum, right? Um, it moves, and we'll get into that more in just a bit, it's easy to, um, to see in this particular angle, so I'll show you in a minute. Um, but there's a couple other features we want to talk about in the grip. Um, if this is my fulcrum, I could hang on to it really tightly and hold it in any position, but we don't want to be that tight because we want the bounce to work for us. Um, so what I want to do is relax my grip so the stick falls against my hand. And where it hits my hand, here in the corner, is what I call the stop. It stops the stick, so if it falls towards that stop, right? Um, that stop is right at the corner of my hand. It would actually be kind of cool if it came out the back of my hand, but then I really can't bend my wrist because the stick bangs into my arm. Um, alternatively, if it comes out the side of my hand, bad things happen, like I hang on to the stick and stop the bounce. I have to use this motion to play instead of that bye-bye motion we talked about. So we want it at the corner of our hand. You can kind of look at the, your hand as a square and then the stick goes kitty corner from corner to corner, right? And then we grab that fulcrum. Then these fingers come on, and they're the control fingers. They're going to start to help move that bounce. And then this space should stay open. You should be able to play, place two fingers from the other hand in there at any time. Um, that means whether you're playing or not. And then when you approach the drum, there's a couple ways to do that with this, which we call match grip. Both hands match, by the way. I'm going to make the left hand do the same thing the right hand's doing. Um, this is called German timpani grip with my hands palm down. Um, you can have your right knuckle slightly down. In fact, if you've ever seen one of those ergonomic computer keyboards, it's kind of bumped up in the middle. The hands are kind of just about like that. And that's what you want your hands to be when you're playing German timpani grip. So if you take that position, you're like this, right? And my, my elbows are slightly out. My wrists are in neutral position. They're not cocked tight like this or like that. I'm all relaxed all the way around. This is the German timpani grip. This works, f this is kind of ground zero for match grip for me. Um, there's a lot you can do with it. Single stroke.
normal strokes. And etc. We'll go into more of those at a future date. Um, but there's another way that people play match grip. Um, and this is where the fulcrum moves. In this German timpani grip, the fulcrum is a little more towards the, this second finger. In fact, sometimes it is that second finger. This one just is kind of a guide for the, for the stick. Um, alternatively, when I go to what's called the French timpani gri grip, um, this, the fulcrum usually moves to the index finger and, and thumb. Um, and then these other fingers are, are controlling the bounce. This is really good for single strokes. But not all those double strokes and buzz strokes and everything else that um, you might do on the snare drum. So I think, you know, some, I've seen really great drummers play German timpani grip and dress for singles. Go to that, go to that French position. Um, for me, uh, on the snare drum, when I'm playing match grip, it's this German position. And then when I go to the ride cymbal, it's the French position because that minimizes the motion, and I'm also playing single strokes over there anyway, so that'll work well for me. Um, and then, as I said, the fulcrum moves from the index finger to the, f to the second finger, and mostly German, it's, it's at the second finger, and mostly in French, it's at it's the, it's the index finger, but never say never. There's places where it changes. Um, sometimes when I'm on the cymbal and I'm playing really loosely, it's at the second finger in this French position. So there's some, uh, some uh, room for, um, you know, you're developing your own f techniques in that, but basically you want the stick to be able to move and have these four features no matter what position you're in. That's a fulcrum, these control fingers, this stop, and this open space. And you, another thing to mention is you should be able to see wood on top and bottom of this stick when you're playing. If you got meat all the way around that stick, it's shock mounted and you're not going to get any of that bounce out of that, right? So remember, we got, we got a few things going on. Arm, wrist, this bye-bye motion, fingers, gravity, and the bounce for both speed and tone. Um, we want all those things. If I play faster, my arm's moving less, but it's just the percentage is changing. If I'm playing slower, maybe a little less wrist, more arm, but all those things are still working for me. And to get those things to work, remember, fulcrum between the first two fingers and the thumb, control fingers, stop, the stick falls against this space to keep the stick breathing and don't choke the stick don't wrap the, your fingers around it you want to see wood on top and bottom so we know that stick can bounce and pivot at the fulcrum um, and yeah those are the things that'll, that'll help you to get more technique the longer you play um, so good luck with it and um, let's talk about the traditional group you may have seen some people play <laughs>